So in this episode of Viral Rewind, we're going to look at a Windows 16-bit virus for a change. Yes, we're actually going to be using Windows 3.1, or more specifically Windows for Workgroups 3.11. And the virus we're going to look at is Apparition. But in order to look at a 16-bit Windows virus, we need to load up Windows 3.11. Load it up here. Now this loading screen may look a little different because this is a modified Windows for Workgroups installation intended for DOSBox with a whole bunch of upgrades like the Windows, WinG, graphical update, and a couple of other things. But we've got it running on the IBM PS1 here. Just break this a little bit. There we go. My customized startup sound. Let me close out these directories so we get to our file manager. Let's see, it's main and file manager. Trying to get the brightness right on here so that the camera can see it adequately. Because the camera iris likes to kind of close up and then you start seeing it in the video there, so hopefully it's okay. So, we've got our file manager open. Let's go to the temp directory. And I have four variants of the apparition virus here. They basically all do the same thing, but they're just different infected Windows 16 programs. But before that, to get a little context, here's our normal Windows directory when we get it open. You can see everything looks pretty clean there. Windows I and I. No extra files or anything like that. Let's see, when we open Win I and I, just for the sake of it here. See everything in here, Windows I and I looks pretty good all the way to the end. But that's going to change once we run the Apparition virus. So let's find one of those infected viruses and run one of them. So let's run the first Apparition here. And it's activity on the hard drive and it seems we've opened up Calculator but it's actually a Russian version of Calculator and we don't have the right font set for it so doesn't display anything right, but it is a functioning version. 6 plus 6 is 12. Multiply it by 2 is 24. Divide by 2 gets you back to 12. So it's a working version of Calculator, but it's the Russian version that we don't have the font set for. Now let's look back at the Windows file, Windows directory. Now let's look over a little more. Let's see if we notice anything out of the ordinary here. Like this, for instance. There's a new program here that's appeared called videxcel.exe. This, in fact, is the actual dropped file that Apparition is using to run its infection routine. And let me pause the video for just a second here. All right, there we go. Just had to take care of something real quick. So. In videxcel.exe, it's masquerading as a video accelerator program, which is intended for graphics, but it is, in fact, the actual file that the infected Russian calculator dropped that is the actual apparition virus that's running in the background, infecting files every 10 seconds. And again, you can't see it, but I occasionally see hard drive light activity here on the PS1 indicating that there is infections going on. The other thing it's done is it has made some changes to our WinINI file. If we look at WinINI, you notice that we now have videxcel.exe put on the load. So even if we close out Windows and then come back to the computer later, once Windows boots up, it's automatically going to load the apparition virus through this videxcel.exe program and continue infect 
So when you get down to the bottom of when I and I here, you see this little addition called the apparition, and it's got a couple of options added to it. And from the ones we can see here, boot infected equals to one. That means that it will automatically start infecting files when it loads up that vidxcel.exe program when Windows boots up. And then it's got the die day equals to 20 and the die month equals to 8 because today is July 20th. So it's set up a payload kill date a month from now. So it will trigger its payload when it gets to August 20th. And it's a destructive payload and it's pretty much just going to wipe everything out on the system. It also assigns a unique ID to the file and then it also gives another couple of options like telling you if it's running in memory, which it is, so it's marked it as yes. And then it's got another little ID thing down here. So, and there are some additional options you can add to this, like for instance, if I put show dots on equal to one, that will cause it to show a dialog box every 10 seconds or so when it wants to infect a file asking, do I want to infect this file, yes or no? And so it'll give me the dialog box to do that. There's some other options like whether I can create a log file Setting, setting that to equal to 1, it'll create a log file which will show what files it's been infected and what it's done so far. A couple of other options give it like a control panel interface when Windows boots up that allows you to run its payload right then and there, select a file manually that you want to infect if you want to pause its infection operation, a couple of other things as well. So, but we're going to leave it like it is because this is how a user would have apparition on their system even if they didn't put options in or know to look in their WinINI file or even know what was going on. So again, it's still infecting files every 10 seconds or so, but we're going to back this up to today, which is July 20th. So if we run it now, it will run its destructive payload. So what we'll do is we'll close out WinINI, close file manager, and we'll exit out of Windows. So this will simulate a person booting up Windows 3.1 or 3.11 up on the payload date. So let's run Windows again. So we're going to boot back up into Windows and now Apparition is going to see that it's the payload activation date. And after some time, we should start seeing files disappear and programs not working and memory errors and all kinds of things because it's going to start deleting pretty much everything out of the folders on the hard drive. It doesn't delete the folders, but deletes the files in them. And we should see that happening momentarily. So Windows 3.11 is loaded. Of course, it's loaded the apparition virus back up. And one of the things it's going to do is it's going to check what the computer's date is against the date that's in the WinINI file under its conditions, and it will start running its destructive payload, deleting files. And I can tell it's already doing that because the hard drive is not stopping. still see our files. Things will probably be okay for a little while, but it's going to systematically start going through deleting files out of the directories. And look, our DOS directory is empty, so its payload is running. That one's empty. Excel is empty. File manager. Nothing in the Mavis folder. That's good. MS Office. Let's see. Microsoft Word. Uh, WinWord is still there. Excel is still there because we just ran it. Let's see. Uh, PC Doctor. PC Doctor is gone. So what it's done right now is it's deleted everything in the root folders. It's deleted everything in the folders at the root level, but now it's going to start going through all the subfolders start cleaning them out too because right now it's just 
just the roots here. Yeah, we still got all the stuff in our temporary DOS directory from previous viruses we worked with. As you see, our Windows directory looks a lot smaller now. So if we try to boot Windows again after quitting, it's not going to load back up. So it's already killed that directory. And because we don't have anything in the DOS directory, the computer will not boot up at all if we try to reboot it or exit out to the command interpreter. Because again, it's lost all those files so far. exit windows or say say try to exit windows see we didn't get our sound playing this time when I exit out and now we've got invalidcommand.com cannot start command exiting can I load and the system is halted so it's completely locked up and obviously if we try to restart to reboot the system Obviously we can get into here, but no programs in directory, no programs in directory, no programs in directory. So Apparition has run its director payload and pretty much wiped all the files out in the directories. So that's how the Win16 Apparition virus is.